what are some, some basic tips you could give to people who would want to test out? So say they've got an audience, they've got, they've, they've, they've built out a, an audience. They want to do not a hundred thousand dollar giveaway, but, uh, but like what, what would be some basic tips for people setting up, uh, a, a giveaway to their audience? It would depend on your audience, right? So like, um, we have a very specific niche, but if you were doing like cosmetics or something of that sort, you know, maybe a giveaway to a Bora Bora vacation, uh, would do better, like a vacation type thing, whatever it may be. And then you need to factor that in the cost of that into your, your cogs, your cost of goods. Uh, and you need to put margins in there for that. You need to do that stuff all before, instead of just like keep selling your stuff for the same price that you're selling it at. And then just start giving away free stuff. Now you have to have margins built in. I mean, our shirts aren't, you can go buy a $20 shirt anyway. You got to pay 35 bucks for a shirt on our site, 30 to $35. Why? Because you get a chance to win stuff. Um, so, and, and they're okay with that. It's a, it's a niche brand. It's something they want to be a part of and they know they could win something in return. So you got to build that stuff into your, into your business model beforehand. And then, and then after that, you got to make sure it's all registered and done correctly um, in order for Facebook to allow it. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, you mentioned makeup and Bora Bora, you know, you guys have such a seamless fit with your audience and the giveaways. It's just a, a one-to-one thing and it's backed by a reality television show. But your example yeah. of, of makeup and, and, you know, you're not giving away a big makeup thing. You just know your audience well enough to know that, Hey, winter is coming. And, you know, being able to visualize a Bora Bora vacation could be, you know, the, the, the perfect thing. So it's really, I think, comes down to really understanding your audience at a core level and making sure the giveaway is something they truly desire. Um, yeah, I, it's so, yeah, so different. People, people ask me all the time, like, what should I do? What, what kind of giveaway should I do? It, it, it depends so much on your demographic, right? And who you're targeting and where they live uh, and what they think is important. Uh, and their average order value and their lifetime value. So there's a lot of things that go into it, but you'll know that. I mean, you should. Uh, yeah. You should know what your niche is into and what you can give away. I My first giveaway I did was a pair of Air Max 90s custom made in the colors of uh, the course I was launching. Turns out yes. I was the only one who really wanted those, but I'm so I glad that I... would have wanted them if you'd have <laughs> hit me with an ad, bro. Yeah, that's they are pretty the Nerf gun, the Nerf gun colorway, yeah. which uh, which I'm a big yep. fan of. We'll get into sneakers after we cover a little bit more on uh, on Facebook yeah, ads okay. here. I wanted to do a quick checkup because it's funny we met at Tim Bird's mastermind. Tim Bird is sort of the don of launching these sort of bidding methods, these methods that sort of allow you to scale, that give you they just basically are a tool. I understand them to be a tool in your arsenal as a Facebook advertiser.